Hey guys, in this lesson we're going to look at how we can apply the drag rudiment to the drum kit. Uh, there's going to be a couple of exercises with groove based ideas and a couple of exercises with um, fill based ideas. Okay, so example number one is going to be a groove based example. Um, the first thing we need to do is we need to learn how to just reorchestrate the drag slightly. So this is going to be a right handed drag. The uh, left handed uh, grace notes are going to be on the snare drum while the right handed main note is going to go, is going to go on the hi hat. Um, so let me just demonstrate that. One, two, three, four. Great, so next thing we want to do is just add the bass drum with the right hand. So that's going to sound like this. So just getting that part comfortable is important because that's what we're going to put into our groove. And this is what the pattern, the example, the exercise sounds like. Three and four. So hopefully that will make sense. Give it a go and have fun with that one. Okay, next we're going to look at uh, example number two. This is a fill based example. So we're going to take our standard uh, 16th note fill around the kit, which is going to be one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. And what we're going to do is we're going to put a drag at the beginning of that. So it's now going to go. Good, so it's really important to realize that your drag, again, remember, think of your subdivision. So your drag is technically going to be starting on the A count of four, preceding the, the first beat. A one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. It's really important to get that feel. Make sure that the drag does not start on beat one. The grace notes are going to start on the on the A of four, thereabout. Yeah? So it's one and two and three and four and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a. So now let's uh, play one bar groove and one bar fill and see how that sounds. Right, so our third example, um, we're going to try and go for a little bit of texture now. So one way in which we might want to use a drag is going to be on the cymbals. So this might be like if you're playing a ballad or you're just trying to add a little bit of texture to the music. So let's demonstrate this on the cymbals and see what that sounds like. Okay, so hopefully you can see with something like that, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be very handy, very uh, useful um, if you're just trying to add a little bit of, 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 little bit of colour to the music, especially in something like ballads. So let's uh, try this with one bar groove and one bar fill and the fill just being quarter notes on the cymbal. And then we have it. There's just an example of how we might be able to use the symbols to just add a little bit of subtle expression uh, to the music if it needs it. OK, so example number four. Um, what I want you to do to begin with, just to get used to how we're going to apply this, is that um, we're going to start our drag. It's going to be a right handed drag. We're going to start our drag, the, the left hand playing the double on the hi hat and the right hand playing the main note on the snare drum. So that's going to sound like this.
So it's important that we get comfortable with that because we're now going to apply that into the next example, which is a 16th note groove, hand to hand on the hi-hats and the back beat's kind of going to, going to come down with the right hand. One, e, and a, two, e, and a, three, e, and a, four, e, and a. And then what we're going to do is we're going to place that drag um, starting on the R of one and the R of three. So it goes one knee and a uh, two e and a uh, three e and a uh, four e and a. Uh. I'm going to demonstrate it so you can see what it looks like. Cool, so there we have it. There's four examples of ways in which we can take our traditional drag uh, rudiment and ply it onto uh, the drum kit. Hope you had fun, enjoy, and I'll see you next lesson.